Hi, welcome back. This is video number 9 and this is Fox Triple Eight. So continuing on, we I just made the variable, so we're gonna use it for the camera. So now keeping going. If target and then let's see I'm gonna say if oh oops <laughs> if target and then my transform dot position equals new vector three and then I can choose different ways so it's gonna do X Y and Z so for the X it's gonna be my transform the position oops excuse me it's gonna be the target the target transform dot position dot X now for going up and down we're gonna use current height and for the last one for the Z it's gonna be target position dot z so if target now I'm going in here I'm gonna do if input dot get key if I do get key down right when you press shift it's gonna only kinda flash it once so it's not gonna register right away saying true or whatnot it's gonna flash it once if we say get key it's kinda like doing it every frame so if get key and then I'm gonna say key code dot if I press the letter L I'm gonna scroll down left shift now in this case I didn't say input dot get button down uh, I could actually go ahead and start setting up the buttons right now uh, this is like if you wanna make it so nobody can change it so it's out with this key besides later on you can probably change it to buttons right now I'm just doing keys so it's more faster So if get key that get key left shift, then we're gonna say zoom equals zoom equals true. Else zoom equals false. So if you wanna put some comments real quick, make sure we have a target assigned on the inspector zoom controls the height now this is just comments and then if zoom now some people will actually write it like this if it equals true you can still do the same thing. You automatically knows it's true. If I, in front of it, I do an exclamation sign. It just mean it just means not. So if it's false. So if zoom current height equals max height, <coughs> we're gonna do else current height equals minimum height. I'm gonna save that real quick. Then go ahead and click here. Make sure your camera has a script. And then now it's gonna load up. It's gonna say target. So I can just click on my ship and drag it up in there. Now I can just go ahead and play. And then uh, it's actually following it. It doesn't look like we're moving <laughs> because of the way how the uh, how the skybox is. But we're actually moving though. What we can do is like you know put things on the ground, put stars, so we can tell that we're moving eventually. And if I hold shift, it will actually zoom out. Now if you press shift like crazy, it's gonna do the whole sticky keys. So don't forget about that, unless you're actually playing as an application. And then now what we're going to do is actually change the controls again. And this time we're gonna make it so the chip will actually look at where your mouse is pointing at and then the only way to move forward is just by pressing W which is a little more easier and we want to actually make it so the bullets are are they disappear after a time because right now if you look at the scene you have all this going on 